day 47 of my salt water fast. It's gonna be a great day. My friend John just came into town and so he actually came out to Puerto Rico because his niece is here and her husband is in the Air Force, I believe. Just got deployed, so he's here helping her out, taking care of her kids and just to give you some a uh, little bit of a backstory with John and how him and I met. So when I had a concession business and I was selling funnel cakes and corn dogs and mini donuts. I actually catered for John's daughter's wedding. We did mini donuts for her wedding. I met him through that way and it was actually really funny because I had met with her prior to the wedding to figure out where I was gonna set up my donut fryer and one of her bridesmaids wasn't able to make it. So there's like, hey, there's an extra seat for the tasting of the food and I'm like, no, 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 no. Like I had just met all these people. They like, you know, really, or trying to get me to stay, so I stayed and I did the wedding tasting, uh, like the food with them. And John was sitting right next to me, and so we got to talk for a long time. I got to know him, and then I continued to see him as uh, I was cooking in a kitchen facility that was near the men's shelter that he volunteers for. So yeah, we just stayed in touch, became good friends, and every time I go home, we get lunch or we get a coffee and we catch up and we always talk about health and foods and the new things that we're trying and what we're eating and what's working for us. He has been fasting. He's been doing like some 24s and some 16s and some 18s. So I'm excited to hear about what his experience has been like fasting and what his plans are for fasting in the future. So it's day 47 and I get that this is going quite long. You know, I was talking to my mom about breaking this fast and we were we were talking and it kind of seems appropriate to break the fast when I go back to California just because if something was to happen, I feel like my odds of survival in a California hospital could potentially be better than the odds of my survival in a Puerto Rican hospital. The fast may get pushed out until I arrive back to California on November 13th, 14th. But at the same time, I'm kind of nervous because no matter what hospital I step into, they are gonna have no experience touching someone who's been fasting for like almost 55 days. I mean, I don't know why I'm really working myself up. I'm gonna do bone broth, bone broth for a while. I'll be adding some like turmeric, maybe garlic, uh, different like spices in there just to get like some additional nutrients, definitely vitamin B. So that's kind of like my headspace of where I'm at when it comes to breaking my fast. I also wanted to mention that I experienced a slight bit of nausea yesterday for the first time. And I think it was after just like consuming so much salt water, like the salt water actually got to me. And it was really just, it really didn't last very long, just a few seconds. But my stomach has been feeling still like it's not hungry, but I think the detoxing of the tongue, which makes you know your tongue very white and it has just like a very weird taste to me, I feel like that is actually getting to me because it really wasn't bothering me in the beginning, but now I am getting disgusted by it, to be completely honest. The lobby in my building smells like the cheesiest omelet, and it's actually making me nauseous. So you guys, nausea has kicked in. Is this detox? Or am I getting close to the end? We shall see. What I learned today is that I need sleep like I need salt. I did not sleep very well. I went to bed at about 12. I woke up at about 2, didn't go back to bed till like 5, 5.30. I seriously felt like death like I've never felt before. I could barely stand. I was like holding myself up on the books at Costco, looking at different cookbooks. I took a nap today, which was the most necessary thing ever. My ears have been feeling weird. Um, it almost at times feels like I can hear my heartbeat in my ears. It's the strangest thing. I've never experienced that before. You know, one amazing thing. So I came home and I grabbed a nap because that's exactly what I mean. I needed and I felt like death. I still don't feel that good, but I'm meeting some friends for dinner tonight. I look as bad, <laughs> I feel as bad as I look. You know, sleeping is just so freaking crucial during this. I feel like I upped my salt, which really has been flushing my body out, which made my stomach feel kind of weird. Not hungry, 
but like really really flushing me out and then on top of that I just like today for the first time I said I think I might be getting close to the end <laughs> I'll probably sleep like a baby tomorrow and feel like a million bucks so I don't know we'll see what happens I hope you have an amazing day and go out there and create a life you love all right so I have been encouraged today that I should break my fast with alcohol Lisa she's the just one tequila she's the just one tequila <laughs> <laughs> but let me tell you what, when you fast, you get really cold. You gotta button up the jean jacket. 